Hi guys, I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. Um, also, welcome to my new filming location. I finally managed to get a little bit of a setup going on my desk. I actually have a ring light. If I can, you can maybe make it out reflecting in my eyes a little bit. I'm so excited to finally have one. Um, as part of my sort of birthday present to myself, I got a ring light. Um, I got a lazy arm tripod, which is one of those ones that clamp onto your desk so you can do overhead things and this thing light angles downwards. Mm hmm And of course, of course, I got a whole butt ton of makeup. There was a lot of really good deals going on and I might have taken a little bit too much advantage of those deals. There are very few things I actually got full price. Everything was a minimum of 10% off. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's just dive right on in because there's there's a lot to go through and um, I may have to take a little break in the middle for um, family things. So, starting with um, face products, I'm not going to group things. I'm not going to group most things by brand. I'm going to go mostly by category till I get to the eyeshadow portion and then I'll sort of group by brand if I can. Um, so for face items, I did pick up this cream from Revolution. It is the Miracle Cream. It is their new Revolution Pro Miracle Cream and it's like a skin prepping lotion that really reminds me so, so much of the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Skin Base doesn't really have much of a doesn't really have much of a smell to it the texture of it is very very similar to the bobby brown um you still get the same amount as the bobby brown except this is 10 pounds i will try and link as much as i can in the info box i haven't tried this under makeup yet but um i'm definitely going to be doing that soon i'm going to do um a get ready with me it's like Almost smells like marzipan, like a hint of marzipan. It's weird, um, but it feels so silky smooth. Um, but I will be doing a, like a get ready with me using all new makeup products really, really soon, just to road test these guys on camera. But also in the skin realm, I finally caved and picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I will be comparing it to the um, the Revolution whatever this was called because they don't write things on their skin booster so i'm going to compare the hollywood flawless filter to the skin booster but i picked up mine in the shade fair um and i'm going to be giving this a bash i just oh, heard so much about this and seen so many people use it i've seen lots of people use it up um that is one of my main factors now when i purchase makeup products eyeshadows not so much but everything else if i could feasibly use it up then i i i entertain the idea of purchasing it i did also pick up two l'oreal foundations because there's a three for two on and i'll show you the third product in a few minutes this is the fresh wear foundation which if you guys remember my long ago wish list video which i'll link if you want some nostalgia <laughs> Um, I really wanted to try the Freshwear Foundation and I was waiting for it to come over from America um, and it came, it came, um, it's just not in the same packaging as in America, it looks like the, the regular Infallible, it just has some extra writing on it so I'm so psyched to finally, finally get to try this, it's, I've been waiting like five years to try this and then I also have the True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum with 1% Hyaluronic Acid I originally found out about this through um, Paulina for Paulina's Beauty. I mean, you guys know she's going to get mentioned at least once in one of my videos, right? But also, uh, Make Me Up Missa talked about this. And I've seen so many other people that I follow on Instagram feature this foundation. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah. So, I picked up also a couple of face palettes. There was a bunch of XX Revolution um, items in the clearance in boots and one of them was this palette it's called the element palette and it looks like this i'm very interested in this sort of matte ish 
sheeny bronzing powder and these two look like they're going to be very good um, mixers toppers for blushes so I'm excited about that these are usually about 15 pounds I think and I got it for like four which was crazy I also picked up a few just a few other face palettes that I kind of really 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 want to try this is the Belgian waffle from BH Cosmetics again I've been seeing loads of people using this and it just looks so pretty and it was on a really good deal and I was like you know what I'm gonna give it a bash because it worked out that these were about where's the grammage gone yeah these are about four point something grams a piece um so over the course of a year I could probably knock out all of those bronzers <laughs> quite happily um with you know like focused use I mean so as I was saying um so as I was saying Obviously, current makeup usage is not uh, the the standard to measure myself by. But in a good year, I could use all those bronzers. Most defo, most defo. Um, but again, taking into account whether something can feasibly be used up. Um, I did also pick up the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Nudegasm Face Palette. It looks stunning and gorgeous. And there goes the plastic. Um, I'm forever finding those plastic sheets kicking about the floor somewhere. Um, but yeah, again, I love the look of this. I can't wait to try it out on the face. Um, and I've seen people hit pan on theirs already. Um, I mean, I know it's been out for a good six months or so ish, if not longer. Um, but that's still quite a reasonably short time to be hitting pan on a face palette. And then we have the Sigma Cordurosa Blush Palette. Um, again, these worked out is about 4.2 grams per blush and it has a gorgeous range of shades. It has some like peachy, yellowy roses to a more dusky, deeper rose, which makes me super happy to play with. And they're a nice mix of finishes, matte, satins, and a bit sheeny. I have a couple of Anastasia uh, highlight palettes um i have one in sun dipped which i really enjoy and i don't mind if i don't use these up um you know within a reasonable amount of time i just really really like the look of them and i've always wanted to purchase this one up yes that's lovely darling so this is the nicole guerrero highlight palette and it is beautiful and stunning and i missed it the first time around and i saw it on fragrance direct for a while but i eventually picked it up on deal on beauty bay i also picked up the palette in sugar which these colors are most definitely more my colors i could use pretty much all of these shades this one looks a bit deeper but once you like blend out the burr scotch I could still definitely get away with wearing that. I also picked up a highlight that I've had in my Amazon cart for the longest time. This is the Hojo Brilliance in the shade 02. And this is a straight up knockoff of the Anastasia Amrezi highlight and I've already used it a couple of times. I really like it. I'm I'm kind of sad that I missed out on the Amrezi. I was being really like stuck up about it. I was like, I don't even know who Amrezi is. Um, I'm not buying something from an influencer I don't even know, but it was such a beautiful highlight. And then when I decided, you know what? I've seen everyone enjoying it. I'm going to go get it. It was gone. Cool. So I found out about this through uh, Make Me Up Missa. And she really enjoys it, and um, I really enjoy it. I've used it a good five times so far. Um, so yeah, really, really enjoying it. I will link it in the info box if you want to check it out. They have it in like three different tones. They have uh, this one, a pinky one, and I think there's like uh, a more champagne-y version. And lastly, in the realm of face products, I have three cream 
no four cream blushes four cream blushes i really like these um fast base blushes from makeup revolution there was one shade in the original range that i didn't have and that was rose so i picked that guy up and they had also launched three new shades i picked up spice which really really intrigued me i was i was hoping they would come out with a red kind of like this i have a, a really like a raspberry pink one called raspberry <laughs> but this is spice uh, we have mauve which is gorgeous and looks like i could contour with it and then we have baby which is like a baby rose slash peach sort of shade so i'm looking forward to playing with those guys in the future then we have some lip products and it has been so long since i've picked up um like refreshed my lip collection i've actually gotten quite a few new lip products a lot of lip gloss lipsticks um first of all is this one from l'oreal i don't know what it's actually called but on the label it just says shiny color ink and i just can't imagine l'oreal calling a product something so simplistic as shiny color ink really um so i will try and find the actual name of it and i'll put it in the info box but this is in the shade be determined and this product is just gorgeous it reminds me so much of the um the ysl um ink stains that used that were all the rage back in like 2013 2014 i had like two or three shades of it this is gorgeous in fact l'oreal had their own version of it and this is like a, a whatchamacallit a more updated version of that product so it's so so super pretty i did pick up um a butter gloss from NYX because um I kind of got nostalgic for it I, I kind of went on a spree of watching declutter videos of all things I watched one and it was on autoplay and next thing I know I'm cleaning a house whilst watching declutter videos and it made me kind of nostalgic for the butter glosses I had uh like four shades or something and I looked at those shades it was like meringue um meringue creme brulee and looking at the colors i'm like god how did we even how did we even but this is in the shade madeline and it is a beautiful a beautiful nude it's light and soft kind of peachy brown so so nice um i also picked up two glosses from anastasia i've, I've always watched try the anastasia glosses but i've always been put off by the price but I did get a good deal on them, so I thought I would just go ahead and pick some up. I picked up the shade Toffee, which is sort of a brownie nude, and then a pinky nude in the shade Vintage. So there is Vintage. I did also pick up a couple of the by beauty bay lip sets i picked up the gloss nudes so we have the shade ballet but i said that weird it's ballet 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 <laughs> you know what i mean like the, you know classical dance ballet so there's ballet gorgeous and i quite like the the feel of the formula on these we have slippers There is slippers. This one is mocha, which I quite like the look of mocha. Kind of reminds me of toffee from Barry M. If you guys remember that from back in the day. And then we have mudslide. I think will be perfect for deepening up a too pale lip and then I got a few like classic bullet lipsticks um first one is from MAC it's in the shade creme de nude I kind of wanted to pick up the um Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW but 
bef- well I went to pick up before it was discontinued but I was putting off I was trying to be good and not purchase any makeup and then I just missed out and this was the closest dupe I could find myth probably would have been better but this is creme de nude I wasn't able to get a tube of myth unfortunately maybe maybe in the future maybe in the future and I picked up the nude set from by beauty bay in their lipstick range so we got the shade t so there is t we have the shade pinched there is pinched we have the shade freckle which i really like look freckle has that sort of nudie move vibe to it and then we have cola which again is a little bit scary but it will come in handy it'll have a use so it's now about two hours later um i have to take a break for the the bath and snack and bedtime routine and um i'm very tired so when I get tired, I get cold, hence the warm, snuggly dressing gown. Um, feel privileged I've taken the hood down for you. <laughs> so I figured I would um, quickly come on here and finish up the rest of this video. Um, there's just some eye products, just eye products left. Um, I have a few cream eyeshadow type products um sorry if the ring light glares on my glasses but i'm tired of my glasses <laughs> um so i got four of these um liquid multi-chrome shadows from xx revolution that were in the clearance in um boots these are actually from the matrix collection which is fairly recent so I'm surprised they were in the clearance so quickly um but this is Excite kind of like a reddish duochrome there uh this is Thrill which is has more of like a purple to it we have Evoke which is green and we have Stimulate which is like a blue and I also got um, a gift with purchase with my Sigma order this is one of their shadow base primers in the shade Sorbet which um, I believe Lauren May Beauty talks about this a lot um, it's just like classic kind of shadow pencil type deal whether it is actually a decent shadow base, um, like a primer, remains to be seen because it, it does specifically call itself a primer. Um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm a big fan of shadow pencils like this. My number seven, Stay Perfect, are like my most favorite um, shadow pencils. We'll compare will compare with those um i have some color pop items to share with you i am missing two palettes i believe this this set was called the bubbly duo and it's like a champagne prosecco themed um eyeshadow palettes they were missed out of my order so i need to um chase up customer service and find out what's happening with that but um i'll share what i have here with me because I saw some lovely exciting things. I picked up Going Coconuts. I know I say lovely exciting and show this palette. Um, this is very much a YouTube made me buy it because I see people rave about this all the time. It is like their holy grail day to day eyeshadow palette and um, I will say Colourpop do some stellar stellar neutrals so i'm looking forward to playing with this guy especially this middle shade coco crush it's like a pinky taupe um so yeah 
looking for this one. One that I actually found just by browsing. I haven't seen anyone talk about this one. The Costa Coral. It's really pretty. It's really summery. And I just... I, coral needs to have another moment. I, I think it's been, it's been too long. Too long since Coral's had a moment. Um, another YouTube made me buy it is... Uh, I like you a lot. I've been seeing this pop up a lot recently in other people's videos. Um, I have the It's My Pleasure palette and I never really thought picking up the Lilac You a lot before. Um, because like the, the color is so pale and pastel y. Um, I know I said I did bedtime routine, but. It takes about half an hour or so before they actually go to sleep. Um, but yeah, the packaging makes it look although it's going to be very pastel -y, but actually the shades inside are very, very wearable. And yeah, man, I was missing out. <laughs> so I'm glad to have this guy in my collection. Um, I picked up the Plush Like Me palette, which... I thought it was going to be a lot more um, saturated in person than it is. Um, I mean, it's still beautiful. I'll still use it. But I just thought that the colours were going to be a bit more um, sumptuous and saturated. But they are lovely. I picked up the Lucky Penny palette, which I didn't really see that many people talk about, to be honest. I like the packaging. I like that the shimmer is shot through the acrylic. It's really cool, really inventive. And the shades inside. I am going to get so much use out of this in, like, summer, autumn period. Like, from about July through to, like, late, late October. This is, like, totally going to be my jam. I picked up the Off Melrose palette, which I saw a lot last summer, and it looked really, really pretty. Um, so here is Off Melrose. I love this Fairfax shade. Um, take it again, and Labrie. They're the three shades I'm most excited for. I picked up the Bye Bye Birdie palette. It has all these beautiful purpley tones. Again, I thought it was going to be a bit more purpley. But it's still beautiful and lovely. Um, I will try and find something to do with that glitter shade. Uh, this one, Ruffle. It's kind of like chunky glitters. Like flaky. It's kind of pretty. I think I think I could forgive that. We'll see. We'll see. I might be able to to make that workable. And the last premier palette from ColourPop I picked up was the In the Limelight palette, and it is this gorgeous selection of greens. I kind of wanted the Tinkerbell palette, but again, I was in sort of this. Um, you know, I'm trying to be good, trying not to my makeup so I missed out on it but this kind of recaptures that sort of vibe for me and the last two things I got from Polar Pop were um, two palettes made up of their single shades um, this palette is called the purples and it's actually what I have on my eyes at the moment um, this makeup is like 13 hours old <laughs> Um, so yeah, but I really, really like this. And then we have She's a Rainbow, I think it's called, and it just has all these glorious bright colours. There are some duplicates in there with colours that I already own, um, but the smaller versions are like a gram, those are like a gram and a half-ish. Um, I don't mind having duplicates to be honest because they're they're probably colours that I really quite like anyway. Um 
I do have a couple of palettes from uh, Makeup Revolution. These are two from the regular Revolution range. These are the Sibyl. Sibyl? I don't actually know if Sibyl is. If it's a person or... I don't know. They popped up. They didn't get a lot of hype. No, I, I didn't see anyone really talk about them. I really liked the day-to-day -day palette, um, but they were in the clearance. Like, it was basically by... by um, you were getting two for the price of one, so I picked up both. Um, the day to day palette is the one I was most excited for, and um, the glue on this is like this is like stuck down so tight. I'm not fiddling with it just now, but the color palette, the color story, I'm so so in love with this color story. It is a perfect sort of day to day, as near as just for me. Um, it has glorious mattes, nice shimmers. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to be the same formulation as the Courage palette that I love. It's the one that um, comes in this sort of style packaging but has like a, a leopard print on it. Um, so I'm hoping this is going to be the same formula. The Day to Night palette, however, um, this has four press glitters in it which I wasn't aware of when I purchased it I I just thought they were just going to be shimmers um it didn't they didn't look very like press glittery in the pic promo pictures so this one here and this one here they're both press glitters and these two are glitter gels so like in a gel base um I do like the color story it's, I, I don't like it as much as I like the day-to-day to, day to day one. The day-to-night one is... It's nice. It's nice. I kind of... I do regret purchasing this one a little bit. Um, it was just a spur of the moment. Hey, why not Why not get the set? You know? It was, it was just a little bit silly of me. A little bit silly. Um, but next I have some Sigma palettes, which I'm super excited with. Um, they had the launch of the new mod. And they had a couple other palettes that I really wanted in a bundle. So um, we picked up the Enchanted palette. Which I've heard so many people talk about. And rave about oh, crumbs. And rave about these shimmers. Oh, they are just so pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of Sigma's formulation. I have a cup. I have three of their palettes already. I really love them. Hopefully by this point you'll have seen my palette collection. If not, I will link it in the info box. The, the palettes I'm showing now are not included in that. Um, but this will get you bang up to date with my palette collection. If you watch that video and then this video, you'll be totally up to date. Um, this is the Corderosa palette, which... Oh, I wanted this palette so so much but it was um I, it, I don't think it was ever in stock on Beauty Bay but it was never on stock when I looked anyway but yeah so stunning and I did worry that it was going to be too similar to the new mod um but they they honestly aren't new mod is completely unto itself. It's kind of like a pinkier version of the Warm Neutrals palette. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of all of them. Um, I did purchase some Melt. Um, I purchased two things and then the launch happened and I picked up the other two things. So I picked up the 27 palette. is so so nice these are a gorgeous range of mattes a couple of shimmer shades in here but mostly mattes i picked up she's in parties because it just looks so stunning all these beautiful purples and mauves and this shade here mean streak oh it's just so stunning um, I think this is going to be an awesome party come palette come party season. Then of course we have the the two Gemini palettes. 
Um, I was waiting for this to come out on Beauty Bay and then I couldn't wait any longer. So I ordered them from Melt.com and I got them in a bundle price. Um, and then the very next day they launched on Beauty Bay. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Um, but they arrived really quickly. They shipped out really quickly. They arrived in perfect condition. So I'm super happy. So we have the Gemini palette if you haven't already seen it. So here's the Gemini palette. Um, I missed out on this on the first time round, so I'm I'm very happy that they brought it back. I believe it got discontinued the first time because I think it was the shade Goals was like puffing out of its palm or something like that. So I will keep an eye on that. I haven't had any touch wood. I haven't had any problems with my melt palettes uh, so far. And then we have the Gemini 2, which I've worn this a couple of times and it is stunning. It is so beautiful. I, I did think that I was only really going to like this red onwards, but these lighter shades, they go on slightly darker. Um, and the Ladylike and Sweetheart are just so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, I totally forgot one of my Revolution palettes. <laughs> this one is from Makeup Obsessions. It's the LA Dreams. Now, I, I saw this in a declutter video. I don't think, I can't remember if it got decluttered. Whoever it was I was watching. But like I said, I ended up on this sort of binge accidentally of watching declutter videos. And this popped up in someone's collection. And I was like, oh my goodness, I've... I've never seen this eyeshadow palette before and it is gorgeous. It is all of the current trends and vibes all rolled into like one palette. It is beautiful and stunning and it's like £10. <laughs> it is the perfect like trendy shot into your collection so like if you bought this and only used it for a summer and declared it again like it wouldn't be a huge huge loss and I think you would get like loads of use out of it. Um, I've used this all, like three, three maybe four times so far. Um, I love this pink, uh, purpley taupe lid shade. Um, I've used Vibes a lot. These pinks are nice too. And this smoothie please is like the perfect sort of minty flash in our corner highlight. And LAX is really nice too. It's like a liner shade. So I've been enjoying that a lot. I did pick up another Anastasia palette because, um, again, I've been seeing this popping up in people else's um, like most favorite palettes. If I was going to repurchase my palettes, if I could only take keep 10 palettes, this tends to be in there. Now, I've, I've put off purchasing this one because the color of the packaging is disgusting to me. This shade of purple is just bleh. It is horrid. I hate it. This shade of purple just it's like vomit lavender. No. I can't do it. Um but inside is so freaking pretty. I can forgive it. And seeing I like Honestly, before I looked at the packaging and just instantly dismissed it, I did. Um, and I have a dupe of this in my W7 palette. And yeah, <laughs> which kind of made me think, you know, maybe maybe I should get the, the real one too. It does have the sort of uh, similar shade to the packaging here, but it does blend out quite nicely. And, um, you know, you can make it work. But yeah, it's the perfect shade to cool down some of the browns and stuff. So there is Norvina. And I also picked up the Glam palette from Natasha Denona because it has been out of stock so, so long. Um, I missed it when it first launched. I missed the restock in 2021. And I haven't seen it stocked since. I mean, I'm sure it has been. I've just not been able to get hold of it. So if you're 
here she is isn't she beautiful um i'm really excited to play with this shade of the what would be the top here in our corner that looks stunning i was worried that this was going to be like hyper cool tone but it's actually really neutral and has some warmth to it so yeah very happy with that I did purchase a few things from some indie brands that I've been had on my wish list for ages. First of all was JD Glow. I picked up six shades. All oh, these lights are so good at like, showing them reflects. Oh, so good, so good. Um, this is Opal. We have Unexpected. Limelight. Um, martini, chartreuse, and 365, which is the one Hannah Louise posted recommended um, for duping shades in the gold palette. And um, I wasn't just going to place an order for just one shade, so I picked out a few other shades that I would like. And I just recently watched Angelica Nickvist's video about brands she no longer purchases from or mentions. And she talked about how JD Glow Shadows go off really quickly. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> if I'd known that, I might have maybe possibly reconsidered my purchase. But we'll keep an eye on them and see what happens. But I also picked up three palettes from Give Me Glow cosmetics and i'm so so excited to play with these guys we have the juicy olive palette these greens are just so so super stunning they're stunning especially like this really dark cocktails love it so much have the vintage rose palette which the packaging guys the packaging is just in itself something else this is gorgeous i swatched some of them well i swatched all of them and the red like the pinky red shades they kind of stained my arms <laughs> um but yeah i think this is gonna look amazing on the eyes And then I got the Vivid Rose palette. These are gorgeous. And I will say, I knew the pans were going to be big. But I didn't realise they were going to be like this big. These are huge pans. Like, it's crazy. Crazy. So I picked up some Viseart shadows. I have some of the older palettes, like the old school ones where you can't pop the eyeshadows out. Um, it's been a while since I've bought Viseart. Um, this first one is the Spritz Edit. Oh no, it's not. This is the Minxen, Mixet Etendu. And it is a gorgeous, warm neutral palette. This one is the... This one is the Paris edit. Oh no! This one, the one of the eyeshadows is kind of broken a little bit. Oh dear, I'll take extra special care of this one. Um, the shadow formulas are quite soft on these shimmers. So I'll have to take extra special care of this one. But it is so, so pretty. Um, I did think that this one was going to be a, a bit more saturated, um, but it is so lovely. It's very lovely. So we'll, we'll take extra, extra care of this guy. We have the Bourgeois Et one, which reminds me a lot of the Bijou Royale palette. I love. I wish they would make the Bijou Royale in this format so that more people can enjoy it. I'm super stoked to try this one. It kind of reminds me of a shade in an Avon palette that I really like. It's called Toasted Terracotta. Um, but I'm excited to try it in a more amped up formulation. 
Oh, it's going to be stunning. It's going to be so amazing. And then we have the spritz edit. Okay, my battery is starting to flash red, so I'm going to quickly run through the rest of the palettes I picked up. I picked up some Shop Alter Ego palettes because they finally had a restock. So I just picked up all the ones I've been looking at for like last year. We have the Sahara palette, which look like these. We have the Blooms palette which looks like these we have the aurora palette so pretty we have the shadow kiss which is supposed to be a dupe of the glam palette but i feel like this is a lot more cool toned than the glam palette we have the goddess palette which i will have a full um comparison video of all my potential gold palette dupes coming um we have the canyon palette and then we have the artemis palette so so pretty i have two by beauty bay palettes that i picked up because i've been loving their formulation lately we have the nikki tutorials palette Yes, I am so late to this party. So late to this party. And then we have the, the Jade th Third Wall. I don't, I don't know my name. I'm not a Little Mix fan, I will say that. No offence to anyone who is. Um, but that is what this beauty looks like on the inside. It is a glorious mishmash of colours, but at the same time, it's, it's very nicely edited. I mean, I know, I know it probably could be smaller, but I like it. I think it's lovely. And lastly were some palettes from Sample Beauty. And I'm really getting into Sample Beauty. Um, I picked up the Rain palette because I am planning on doing some traveling. And I thought this would be a great travel palette. Um gorgeous mattes, some nice shimmers and these two look like they're going to be really nice and intense so I'm looking forward to trying that guy out. We have the Cult palette if I can get it out of the sleeve there we go so we have the Cult palette which is like neutrals, warm neutrals and then pop colour on the bottom row there I have the Paradigm Shift Volume 2. I don't think you get Volume 1 anymore. I think it's discontinued now. But this is, again, a really nice rainbow palette. It's like a rainbow palette with shot neutral in it. Very, very pretty. I just wanted to um, try out more of their formulations. The mattes in here, I don't want to say, are... Um, Natasha Denona quality, but they really remind me of the mattes in the Cranberry palette from Natasha Denona. And then the last two palettes I picked up were the Equalizer palettes. Um, so we have the original Equalizer palette. Which again is a bit rainbow, a bit rainbow. I love the way that they have a corresponding shimmer to go with each matte and I love the gimmicks that they got like cup of tea, rubber duck, bits, vitamin C, then the pears make a phrase and then oh no no and then we have the equalizer volume 2 which is a backup um, I don't often buy backups, but I really want this one because I just love this one so much. It's so underrated. I would totally recommend picking this guy up. Um, I think it's like £23 full price or thereabouts, but you can get it like for £15 or less sometimes on sale. I think I paid like £13 for this one. 
um, to get back up. But I will try and link as many of these in the info box as I can. Um, yeah, I, I'm really getting, I'm getting the empty, the empty battery flashing in my face right now. So I'm going to sign off. There is a lot, a lot in this video. I will have Get Ready With Me's coming up soon. Um, some swatch videos, comparison videos. There is a lot going to be coming up on the channel. And uh, I'll talk about it more once I <laughs> charge this battery. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if there's anything that you would like more information on. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yes, darling. Today. What's tomorrow? Um, my my trap. Did you say it today to, or tomorrow? Your trap. Yeah. Yeah, I said today. Okay. Why does Dad say not to take it in the living room? Yeah, Daddy said do on the other day, just like my dad didn't let me. Well, maybe keep it in your bedroom closer to your cars today. No. I, okay. But we want to go home. Mummy said one thing and Daddy said another and those two things conflict. So we're going to have some conflict, possibly. <laughs> um, um, yeah. I broke my butt crack. You broke your butt crack? Yeah. How did you break your butt crack? I heard it. I did it to my phone. Oh, my butt crack. Your butt crack cracked. You don't like a video in. I am videoing. Hi. Hi. Luna broke her butt crack. Yeah! <laughs> butt crack cracked. Then let's go down below. Then <laughs> <laughs> let's do a comics. Listen to the child, listen to the child. Out of the mouth of babes. Yeah. Silly with mom. <laughs> That's my nose. Okay. okay. Love you. Okay. Yep. See you later, Mom. Love you. Have fun. Hey. Hey. Aww. Poodles. Bye. Bye. Remember to subscribe down below.